Formation of primary gold deposits. Primary gold deposits form deep within the Earth's crust, as a result of complex geological processes that span millions of years. Unlike secondary gold deposits, where gold is concentrated by erosion and sedimentation, primary gold deposits represent the original sources where gold is chemically deposited from mineral-rich fluids. Magmatic and Hydrothermal Processes The formation of primary gold is closely linked to magmatic and hydrothermal activity. As magma rises through the crust during tectonic activity, it brings with it various metals, including gold. When the magma cools and begins to solidify underground, it releases mineral-laden fluids, hot, pressurized solutions rich in silica, sulfur, and metallic ions like gold. These hydrothermal fluids travel through fractures, faults, and porous rock layers. As the fluids move, changes in temperature, pressure, and chemistry cause the dissolved gold to precipitate and accumulate along these pathways. Over time, this results in the formation of gold-bearing veins or disseminated deposits within the host rocks. Source Rocks and Gold Mobilization The gold itself originates from deep-seated source rocks, often located in the mantle or lower crust. These rocks undergo partial melting due to tectonic forces, releasing gold and other metals into ascending magmas. The movement of these magmas toward the surface acts as a natural conveyor belt, transporting the mobilized gold closer to accessible crustal levels. The Role of Fluids, Temperature, and Pressure Temperature and pressure conditions play a critical role in the deposition of gold. Gold is more soluble in high-temperature, high-pressure fluids. As these fluids ascend and encounter cooler, lower-pressure environments, their capacity to hold gold decreases, leading to the precipitation of gold minerals. Additionally, interactions between hydrothermal fluids and surrounding rocks, such as chemical reactions with iron-rich or sulfur-bearing rocks, can further facilitate gold deposition by creating favorable chemical traps. Types of Primary Gold Deposits Primary gold deposits are categorized based on their geological formation processes and host rocks. Understanding these types is essential for both exploration and mining, as each deposit type has unique characteristics, formation environments, and mining challenges. Here are the main types. 1. Orogenic gold deposits, load gold deposits. Orogenic gold deposits, sometimes called load gold deposits, are among the most significant sources of primary gold worldwide. These deposits form during mountain building events, known as orogenes, when tectonic plates collide and create large scale fault systems and fractures in the Earth's crust. Formation process During orogeny, deep seated fluids rich in gold and other minerals ascend through faults and shear zones. As these fluids cool and interact with host rocks, gold precipitates along cracks forming quartz veins or vein systems. Key Features Typically associated with metamorphic rocks such as schists and greenstones. Gold is often found alongside quartz, sulfides like pyrite and arsenopyrite, and carbonate minerals. Deposits can occur at various depths but are most common between 2 to 10 kilometers below the surface. Examples The gold fields of Western Australia the Mother Lode in California. Greenstone Belt Deposits in Canada. 2. Intrusion-Related Gold Systems. Intrusion-related gold deposits form when metal-bearing fluids are released from cooling intrusions, such as granitic or diuretic bodies, deep within the crust. Unlike orogenic deposits, these systems are directly related to magmatic activity. Formation Process. As magmatic bodies cool, Hydrothermal fluids rich in gold, tungsten, bismuth, and molybdenum migrate outward from the intrusion. These fluids deposit gold in a halo-like pattern around the intrusion, often forming sheeted veins or disseminated zones. Key Features Typically hosted in granitic rocks or in the surrounding country rocks altered by hydrothermal fluids. Lower grade but large tonnage deposits. Associated minerals may include arsenopyrite, pyrotite, and shaylite. Examples Tintina Gold Belt in Alaska and Yukon Fort Knox Mine, USA 
3. Porphyry Gold Deposits, Porphyry Copper Gold Porphyry deposits are primarily known for their copper content, but many are also significant sources of gold. These deposits form around large, porphyritic intrusions where hydrothermal fluids spread through large volumes of fractured rock. Formation Process The fluids responsible for porphyry deposits are derived from the degassing of shallow intrusive bodies. Gold is deposited along with copper as the fluids cool in extensive stockwork vein networks and breccias. Key Features Large, low-grade deposits with enormous tonnages. Gold is typically finely disseminated, requiring bulk mining techniques. Deposits often found at convergent plate boundaries. Examples Graberg Mine in Indonesia Bingham Canyon Mine in Utah, USA 4. Skarn Gold Deposits Skarn deposits form at the contact zones between intrusive rocks and carbonate-rich sedimentary rocks, such as limestone or dolostone. Formation Process As hydrothermal fluids from nearby intrusions infiltrate carbonate rocks, chemical reactions cause the formation of calcilicate minerals, skarns, and the deposition of gold along with other metals like copper, iron, and tungsten. Key Features Gold can be present as disseminations within scarn minerals or in associated veins. Often polymetallic, containing multiple valuable metals. Examples Headley Gold Scarn in Canada Fortitude Mine in Nevada, USA Summary Each type of primary gold deposit forms under different geological conditions and has distinct exploration and mining strategies. Orogenic gold deposits are typically high-grade and vein-hosted, intrusion-related deposits are large and sheeted, porphyry systems offer massive low-grade volumes, and scarns are highly variable but economically significant. Exploration and Mining Techniques for Primary Gold Deposits Finding and extracting gold from primary deposits is a complex process that involves advanced exploration techniques and carefully planned mining operations. Since primary gold is locked within hard rocks deep below the surface, exploration and mining are significantly more challenging compared to secondary or placer gold deposits. 1. Exploration Techniques for Primary Gold A. Geological Mapping The first step in exploration involves detailed geological mapping of the area. Geologists study rock types, structural features like faults and folds, and alteration zones that may signal the presence of hydrothermal fluids. Mapping also helps identify quartz veins, iron-stained outcrops, and sulfide-rich zones, common surface indicators of gold mineralization. b. Geochemical sampling Soil, rock chip, and stream sediment sampling are widely used to detect gold anomalies. By analyzing trace amounts of gold and associated pathfinder elements, such as arsenic, antimony, and bismuth, geologists can narrow down target areas for further investigation. Geochemical anomalies often point to hidden gold-bearing structures below the surface. C. Geophysical Surveys Modern exploration relies heavily on geophysical techniques. Magnetic surveys help identify buried intrusive bodies and fault zones. Resistivity and IP, induced polarization, methods can detect sulfide zones associated with gold. Gravity surveys highlight dense rock bodies that might host mineralization. These methods allow geologists to build 3D models of the subsurface before drilling. D. Drilling programs. Once a promising target is identified, core drilling or reverse circulation, RC, drilling is conducted. Drilling provides direct samples from the subsurface, allowing geologists to confirm gold mineralization and understand or body geometry. Detailed assay analysis of drill cores determines gold grades and distribution. E. Resource estimation. After sufficient drilling, companies perform resource modeling and estimation using specialized software. This step quantifies the total amount of gold present, its concentration, and economic feasibility, defining whether the deposit qualifies as a resource or reserve. 2. Mining Techniques for Primary Gold Unlike placer mining, 
extracting gold from primary deposits involves breaking hard rocks and processing large volumes of material. Mining methods are chosen based on deposit depth, or body geometry, and economic considerations. A. Open pit mining. Used when the gold deposit is located close to the surface. Large-scale excavation of rock using drilling, blasting, and hauling equipment. Economical for disseminated or low-grade deposits, such as porphyry gold systems. Example, the Boddington Gold Mine in Australia uses open-pit techniques. B. Underground mining. Applied when gold deposits are deeper or when the ore body is narrow and high-grade. Techniques include Cut and fill stoping Shrinkage stoping Long hole stoping Requires the development of tunnels, adits, shafts, and ventilation systems. Example, the South Deep Gold Mine in South Africa is an underground operation. C. Or processing After mining, the gold-bearing rock is crushed and ground into fine particles. Processing methods include Gravity separation, for coarse gold. Flotation, to concentrate sulfide-hosted gold. Cyanide leaching, to extract fine gold from ore. Gold is recovered from solution using carbon adsorption or zinc precipitation. 3. Environmental and economic considerations. Primary gold mining is energy-intensive and can impact the environment through land disturbance, water usage and contamination, cyanide and waste management. Modern mining operations implement strict environmental management practices, including tailings management, water treatment, and site rehabilitation. Economic viability depends on gold price fluctuations, or grade and tonnage. Infrastructure Accessibility Legal and Permitting Frameworks Conclusion Exploring and mining primary gold deposits demand significant investment, technology, and expertise. From identifying subtle geochemical anomalies to operating massive open-pit mines, the journey from discovery to gold bar is complex and challenging. Yet, primary gold sources remain the world's main supply of this precious metal. If you have any questions about primary gold deposits, please ask me in the comments. Don't forget to like and share my video, and subscribe to my channel.